What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is take number four. This better be the best review I've ever done because this is the fourth try. Totally my fault. Today, we have the Sig Romeo 2. That's what we're going to talk about if I don't have any more technical issues. My buddy Christian let me borrow this, all this cool guy stuff. Thank you to Christian. If you think I deserve it, subscribe to the channel. My subscriptions are down like 50%. That sucks. We'll blame YouTube, but please help me out. Click that button. All right. The most unique feature about this red dot is you can convert it from an open emitter red dot to a closed emitter red dot. There's two little screws on the back. You take those screws off. Now it's an open emitter if that is your jam. You have a little half shroud. If you want to protect half of it, you can put that on there. Or you can put this full shroud on here. The full shroud is a little small piece of glass, whatever it is that you put on the back as well. Closed emitters are nice because nothing can get in there. No dirt, no mud, no water. Nothing can get in there and block that emitter so you can't see the red dot. That is one advantage. Typically, closed emitters are more durable as well than open emitters. Um, and the nice thing here, this back piece of glass or whatever it is, if this breaks, it's take two screws out, get a replacement, screw it back in, you're good to go. Uh, one of the drawbacks to closed emitters is they don't mount directly to the slide. You have to mount uh, an accessory plate and then those closed emitters mount to that accessory plate. Being this one is both an open and a closed emitter. There's two screws that go directly down into the slide. If you're rocking it on uh, any SIG Pro Cut slide, it's the same footprint as the Romeo 1 Pro. So you kind of have the best of both worlds of an open emitter that screws right down, a closed emitter that is enclosed and durable and the emitter won't nothing will happen to that emitter so kind of unique uh, thought that SIG had here now the red dot in here you can either get it 3 6 10 MOA or the dot with the circle around it now the weird part or the confusing part was that's what's on the SIG website I looked everywhere and all of those were not available so I don't know if that's old information or not but that is what it says on the SIG website so that's what I'm gonna say to you the lens is crystal clear it has aspheric lenses anytime you see an aspheric lens have high expectations because there's very very little distortion the red dot is super crisp there's not any blue tint or anything like that i mean it looks really really good even my few buddies who i let look through this they're like this is a sig red dot they're like wow that looks really really good i didn't compare it to the aimpoint acro side by side i wish i grabbed my buddy's acro and held them up side by side but it's at that point, it's up to that level. It, it's, I wish you could see it without looking through a lens because it looks extremely clear. Uh, that lens is a very, very big window. It's a 30 millimeter window. It looks like you're looking through a little TV. Um, so besides being crisp clear, it is a very big window as well. Besides on a pistol, this would work very, very well on a pistol caliber carbine, sub gun, something along those lines. Uh, either one would work well. Windage and elevation are standard. One MOA, they're tactile, they're audible. Nothing to write home. Flathead, small flathead screwdriver will get your job done there. Um, I always like to see half MOA, but it's a pistol, so not the end of the world. Your battery compartment is a side load, so you do not need to take the red dot off of the gun to replace the battery to go check your zero. It's a side load compartment, which is great. To CR2032, the unique part, there's a little push button here. You push that button in and the tray pops out. When I first saw that, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I like that, but I'm trying to push that button and I can't get it in. You kind of need some sort of tool, uh, a round, a 556 round, screwdriver, whatever, to pop, push that in to pop it. So I don't think it's gonna get pushed accidentally. I don't think it's a big deal. So I was your battery life, it's 25,000 hours. Now I heard a bunch of people when I was reading up about this red dot before the review saying what a great battery life it has. To me, that's good, it's not bad. Like the Aimpoint Acro, again, 50,000 hours. Some SIG, some uh, Holosun, 50,000 hours. So while it's a good battery life, I wouldn't call it great. It's fine, change your battery every year. You won't have to worry about it anyway. It's a pretty good battery life. Now it has um, a shake awake technology. SIG calls it MOTAC, whatever they want to call it. It's let the pistol sit for two minutes. The red dot turns off. It senses any motion, turns right back on. I probably have a dozen red dots with that feature. Never had a problem with it, but just know that is something else in there that could potentially go wrong. It also has some sort of magnet technology. I don't know what SIG calls it. We'll call it magnetorific technology. <laughs> that was so corny. <laughs> it, the cover it comes with has a little magnet built in. You put that cover on there, it turns it off. It helps your battery life. There's also some holsters out there with that magnet built in. So when you holster the gun, the red dot turns off to help prolong the battery life. You take it out, it turns on. 
It seems fine, seems okay. Anytime there's a new technology like that, it does make me nervous. Again, something else that could potentially break, but so far so good. Uh, before we get into the adjustment buttons, I wanna quickly thank the sponsor of the video, it's Prime Armor. I have level three, four side plates from them, three different plate carriers, some soft armor coming. They make very, very high-end gear with mid-tier pricing. That's how I like to describe it. Top-notch gear, mid-tier pricing. They even have a brand new plate carrier that came up. Discount code and link is in the video description. If you wanna pick anything up, use that code, save yourself a few bucks. If you have the money for armor, you should buy armor. If you don't have the money, that's okay. All right, the buttons are on the left side, which is good as a right-hander. If you're concealed carrying it, whatever, those buttons are gonna be up against your body and they're a lot less likely to get pushed. Those buttons are very, very small and they're very, very flush to the body. So it's gonna be uh, to the body of the optic that is. It's gonna be very, very tough to push those, nearly impossible to push those accidentally. You really gotta get in there and be intentional when you want to adjust the brightness. It has a t total of 12 uh, brightness settings and three of them being night vision compatible. I did look at this through nods and the dot looks just as good through nods as it does during the day. It, it looks really, really good. Not only did I shoot this during the day, I shot it with white light and, uh, and with nods as well. And the dot looks great at all times. Uh, you can take a look at the dimensions, weight, and price. When I first saw the price, that's the MSRP. You will find it for less if you look around. But when I first saw that price, I was like, Ooh, that is expensive. I expected it to be more like a $500, four or $500 MSRP. The, the Optic has a lot of cool things going on from the open to the closed emitter to the super high quality glass, the great looking dot. But man, that is a lot of money. Now it also, besides the, the, the shrouds that I showed you, it also comes with this really nice tool. I think it's made by Fix-It Sticks, but it's pre-configured to be 28 inch pounds and that's where you should screw it down 28 inch pounds so you make sure you don't under or over torque it and i think that's a very nice little addition but man that's expensive it's also uh, waterproof down to one meter for 30 minutes and it has a five-year sig warranty so a lot of good things to talk about with this red dot and now i'm not i'm not a huge sig red dot fan at all but they did a really nice job with this one. All right, testing. Uh, I couldn't do my full testing, I apologize. I hope you will understand and please forgive me. I did get through the 500 rounds, maybe a little over, but not much, but we'll call it around 500 rounds. I could not drop it on the hood five times and I could not rack the red dot off of something 100 times like I normally do, like I'll usually rack it off a barrel or wood or a table. I couldn't do either one of those things because again, this is not my red dot, this is my buddy Christian's and I don't think he will appreciate me beating the snot out of his red dot. I don't want Christian to beat me up. He's a big dude. <laughs> but I did get through the 500 rounds. Most of the shooting I did um, was drawing from the holster. He gave me this bl uh, Black Hawk T-Series holster. And just like the red dot, I was pleasantly surprised on both of these. I didn't think I was gonna like this holster. But Blade Tech did a really, really good job, and I am doing a review on that holster as well. So most of the draw, most of the testing I did was drawing from the holster. I think that's a great way to test a red dot draw. Pick up that red dot, try to pick it up under recoil, try to pick it up under transitions back and forth. Same idea with magazine exchanges. I forced quite a few magazine exchanges uh, by putting one round in the chamber and an empty mag in there just so I could practice picking up that dot the first time. I think that's very, very important when you test a red dot. Uh, besides that, did a little bit of shooting and moving, moving and shooting, and again, for a total of 500 rounds. Sorry, I couldn't do the destructive testing. Biggest pro for me, I think the unique part is how you can go from an open emitter to like a half enclosed to a fully enclosed one. And again, if the, the, the glass and the back breaks, you can easily swap that out. Uh, it still screws right down to the slide like an open emitter. So it has some really, really cool, unique features. The glass, gotta mention the glass next. There is very little to no distortion, no tint. It looks great. The dot for my eyes was very, very crisp, not only during daylight, uh, at night with white light and um, using my nods. It looked great at all times. The controls are decent, they're flush, they're out of the way, they're up against your body. And uh, it's very, very unique. I think SIG did a good job. Now, in between pros and cons, I'm gonna mention the battery life, 25,000 hours. I put it in between because for me, that's like, eh, that's okay, but we're kind of spoiled, man. Like the Aimpoint Acro, what's that, 50,000? Uh, but I read so many people said, great battery life, great battery life, I'm like, Am I wrong or are they, pay, are they paid shills by SIG? I don't know, it's decent. Change the battery every year and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, as far as cons, the uh, true con, I think it's gonna be the price. 
I don't know, it seems expensive to me, but I want your opinion. I'm torn. That is a lot of money for a Sig Red Dot, um, especially when the Acro can be had for less if you could find one in stock. But what do you think? Am, am I overlooking all of the unique, cool features that this thing has? And I, do I need to understand that those come with a premium? Drop it down in the comment. Let me know your opinion. I always like to balance my thoughts out with, with you boys and girls. Overall, it's cool. It's funky. Sig did a great job. I am very, very impressed. I would have no problem carrying this. Um, duty. Uh, CCW is what I meant. Home defense. Anything like that. I'd have no problem using that for any of those things all right let me thank my man christian for sending me all this cool stuff to review it is greatly greatly appreciated i will put some affiliate links man my back hurts oh i'm getting old i will put some affiliate links for that red dot down in the video description hopefully i can find you a good deal because again it's not the cheapest red dot on the market we have swag if you want to hook me up please shirt patches more importantly like comment subscribe enable the bell notification those four things really help me out. If you don't have the funds to buy a shirt, if you don't have the funds to buy something from Prime Armor, no big deal. Just like, comment, you're an idiot. Subscribe, enable the bell notifications, and I'll see you guys later.